back to the channel, everybody. Thank you so much for coming in, checking out this review, showing me some continued support. That is greatly appreciated. If you are a new viewer, well, thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate that. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope that it keeps you coming back for more content as well. Thank you, guys, and I'll get right into it. Doc Goodbeard. That's the company that I'll be reviewing today. They are a veteran-owned company. The owner's name is Kevin. Thank you so much, Kevin, for your service. That is appreciated greatly, sir. And thank you so much for sending out such an awesome package. I can't wait to get into it, fellas, but stick around. I'll get right into the first scent that I'll be reviewing today. Green Tea Tree. So if you couldn't have guessed, well, it is a green tea and tea tree scent. It does have hints of spice and mint. Very well mixed together, very calming, very soothing. Definitely one that you want to put in after a nice hot shower. Help wind down for the evening. Or even in the morning, you want to kind of sit down, enjoy, you know, uh, the morning, quiet time, perfect scent to do that with. It is blended perfectly together. You get little hints of spice and you get little hints of mint. Just mixed together, all made for such a nice, great scent. Right here. As you can see, he's got the logo, which I am assuming it is Kevin. Because I've seen pictures of Kevin online and they do look like the logo, so... Kevin, can you either deny or confirm in the comments if this logo is a depiction of you? Or if it is you? There you go. So it's got the child safety on it. This one's a little different. It's got the little pop down pop child safety. But definitely was my favorite scent out of the scents that I received. Definitely a go-to. Was great. Salubrious is the next scent. This is going to be... Citrus orange, bergamot, and clove essential oils. I do pick up a lot of the clove. Uh, it's still a very clean scent, but I feel like it is very clove heavy, uh, even though it's clove essentials. So it shouldn't be as heavy, but I definitely get more of that in it. Um, it's still a good solid scent. Uh, if you're into like the clove scent, this one would be a good one. But you get the splash of bergamot, and splash of citrus orange in there, but it is a clove dominant in my opinion. All right, this one is called Tobacco Pouch, Tobacco Leaves, Smoky Turmeric, Rich Woods. It is what it says it is, is what you're getting out of the bottle. This one right here is a just straight, you know, clean, woodsy tobacco scent. Get the little smoky turmeric in there. And you can definitely, you can definitely pick that up <laughs> on the smokiness. <laughs> but you're definitely getting that tobacco there. Um, this would be probably more like your traditional tobacco scent. Uh, the scent that they're using for the tobacco uh, but is it a, it is a good solid tobacco scent so if you're looking for something tobacco this would be a good one this would be good for like going out in the woods hanging out with the buddies you know going to go shoot shooting or whatever uh, or you know out back making a fire this would be a really good one to hang out with and just chill because like i said it's got the tobacco leaves smoky turmeric and then rich woods i get the woods the woody is on the back end uh, so you don't get too much of it, but it's just enough to where you still get that little hints of it here and there But still a solid solid scent All right, everybody. So they sent out three bombs. This one is black and amber. It is a true medium hold bomb It worked very well for me. I did enjoy it. I don't always use bomb when they send them out I do use them though. This one is black and amber again So it's gonna be black pepper and amber it's very soft. This one's a little bit more soft with the undertones of that, like the pepper in there. So you could catch the pepper in there a little bit, but I got more uh, powdery softness from the amber in there. The next bomb is going to be green tea tree. So same same as the oil. It's a matching balm. And I'll show you guys. I did, in fact, use it as well. See right there. And again, you're getting the same thing out of the balm as you are that oil. Just that clean, that clean tea tree. Although I get more mintiness out of this one than I, or more mint comes out from the bomb than the oil. So um, you don't get as much of the spicy um, spice in there. So, all right, and here is the last one new gloves. And just like it says, new gloves, that is the scent that you're getting. It is just a leather scent. That's it. <laughs> just a leather scent straight leather it's a good leather <laughs> it's not overly strong but it's not subtle either it's just enough leather there it smells really good 
It gives me a, a little bit of a suede vibe in there. I don't know if they've maybe if they put a little suede in there. Who knows? Because the profile just says leather. New leather glove. So, But it's a good leather. It's just like a new leather glove. That's exactly what you're getting out of that. You see, I did, in fact, use it as well. So, like I said, true medium hold. Did the job. Get the flyaways down. I was able to style my beard. Did good. Uh, a hold all day, you know, just to get the uh, beard nice and straight and and molded to, you know, some styling that you'd like. All right, so let's talk blend. This blend is going to be fractionated coconut, jojoba, argan, Jamaican black castor, hemp seed, which is my favorite, and vitamin E, essentials and fragrance oils to get the scents that are being brought to you. So solid blend. Uh, they got the Jamaican black caster, so you're getting a true medium viscosity, probably a little bit on the higher end. They're just kind of in the in the middle of all the ingredients. They're maybe kind of lower towards the bottom, but it does thicken it up a little bit, so it is a true medium uh, viscosity, maybe slightly on the higher uh, medium end, but it is a true medium viscosity. So good blend, solid blend. I know some don't like fractionated coconut. I don't have an issue with it. it still worked great. I do like that they used jojoba, argan. They used hemp seed. And then they got vitamin E to round it out. So my opinion, it is a solid blend. It did work very well. So let's move on to the blend for the balm. All right. So the blend for the balm is going to be beeswax, fractionated coconut, coconut butter, apricot kernel oil, argan, shea butter, hemp seed oil. And then you got your essentials and fragrances to scent up the balm solid balm blend right there i don't see very many using coconut butter so i thought that was really cool coconut butter is actually really nice um, so i mean i'm glad they incorporated that into their balm blend uh, but you got beeswax as your main ingredients you got plenty of hold like i said it is a true medium and you got the shea butter down below at the lower end help kind of condition the beard as well so i mean what more can you ask for right so you're looking at 18 dollars for an oil $19 for a balm and their brushes are $12. Now we'll show you the, the brush here in a second, but let's get the conclusion going, right? So did I enjoy the product? Yes, I did enjoy the product. It did work well. The feeling beard was a good feeling beard. It did last all day. I didn't feel like I needed to re-up. I didn't get any, you know, dry itchiness or any of that. So it definitely felt like it was moisturizing my beard. I definitely felt that it did last all day as far as like that feeling beard and the scent duration I would say I got a good five hours six hours depending on the scent some of them only use essential some of them are both fragrance and essential some of them I did feel that they went well beyond the six hours out of those three so that was always nice too and like I said it, it worked good I, I liked it I enjoyed it it is a solid product would I recommend it to you? Yes. Do I have any complaints? No, I don't. The only suggestion I have or would at least like to see from the company is scent development. They offer basic scents. They don't do anything elaborate or anything I, I would say call eye-catching when it comes to scents. You no know, like seasonal releases or any special edition stuff. And that's fine. You don't have to do any of that to have a good solid product, which they do. But... I wish that they would do something like that to help get some more attention and get some more consumers, uh, you know, buying their products because they are solid products. They are a veteran-owned company. I love to support veteran-owned companies as well as small batch companies, which is also why I do reviews, is to help bring those companies to the forefront for you guys to be able to find some solid, good products that work at a good price as well as being able to, you know, give them some support from you as well, so... But I will be right back. I'll show you the brush and I'll end the conclusion with how the brush worked. All right. So last item on the list is the brush. Boris Bristle. Got a good, good amount of stiffness to it. I did feel like it styled well with it. So I definitely enjoyed it. 12 bucks is a bargain for a brush. Glad that they were able to send one out. They also offer lip balms. Or they did. Couldn't find them on site when I went on their site. But their lip balms work really good. Uh, my wife used the lip balm. She enjoyed it. I used one. A little goes a long way with these small batch companies. They're all handmade. They don't have all the other added stuff in them that you find at the store. 
So they definitely do their job. They definitely moisturize your lip, make it soft, but a little goes a long way. So it's definitely a good thing. It's long lasting. So that was always good. That's always good too, right? But here's the brush. It's got their logo etched into it there in that wood. Said Boris Bristle. It's got pretty stiff bristles. And it did it did a good job. It did a solid job. I enjoyed it. It was definitely nice. It felt nice. Styled well. Again, what more could I ask for? But that is my conclusion on Doc Goodbeard. And if I would recommend it. All right. So thank you so much for checking out this review. Make sure to go give them a follow. I will be linking them down below. Their Instagram, their website. Make sure you visit their website. Get some products for yourself. I appreciate your guys' continued support. If you're a new viewer, thank you for coming in. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back next time for the next video. With that, fellas, I will leave you to it. Till the next review, peace out.